our old friend uh, Tom Yamaguchi. How you doing, Tom? Oh, hi. I had to turn my sound back up. Oh. oh. Um. So, are you on live stream? Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because yeah. let I'm, me look I'm, and I'm, see I'm, if um, I'm, I'm not announcing that anymore. Oh, it's coming. Oh, it's coming up. So I got to. I went to close live stream because we're gonna get. We're gonna get uh, double sound from me. Yeah. Yeah. I got to. Okay. Do so I just closed live stream. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. See, I've got to yeah. cut it down yeah. too. There we go. All right. Oh, great. Let me see hey, here. Hey, so Alex. Wait a minute. There's Rob Alfano. Yeah. So Alex. Yes. I would say if you die of Ebola, yeah, it's guaranteed you'll get a obit in the New York Times. Yeah, you you're right. It you know, be. because I think at the rate I'm going, I'm not getting an obit in the New York Times unless my wife pays for it. You know. Ow. Uh, well, no, I, you, you know, you can you can well, you'll get an obit anyway. But well, you'll if definitely you're get... also get an obituary all over the, the Bay Area press because they'll cover something. If there's any Bay Area angle of a story, they'll cover it like crazy. Really? Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so so the, the one thing you've got to remember, Alex, yeah. it, isn't, it isn't spread in the air. It, coughing won't do it. It's got to be direct contact with fluid. So you've got to go in and set up a French kissing booth. Either that, or go to go to Liberia and maybe just uh, hang out uh, uh, with some some uh, Liberian hookers. Oh, that'll do it too. Huh? Oh, you'll get, you'll get more than just Ebola. <laughs> sure. Well, I wouldn't. I'm, I don't think. I, 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 what, which would kill me first? I, would I get Would I get the uh, social disease first, and then the Ebola after that? I guess so, because there's a 21 day incubation period for Ebola, and I think you can get the clap in like 24 hours. God knows what else. Now, syphilis takes a while, though. Syphilis takes longer than Ebola. This is, <laughs> this is the most disgusting discussion we've ever had, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Rob, how you doing tonight? I'm okay. How are you? I'm doing fine. What I, I didn't, I wasn't able to listen early to the show, and so I don't know what happened to your game show tonight. Didn't ever, it didn't uh, materialize. You can't have a game show with one contestant. Oh, I, I, uh, what? Really? You only had hi. <laughs> <laughs> you only had one contestant. Yeah, uh, Diana called in. She called. I, I. Uh, so here's what I did. I, 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 cre I, I pre-produced this little thing that ran about seven minutes prior to the, 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 the show. Yeah. I took over the, the network mm -hmm. in between Miranda's program and my program. So I started my program here. You know, the, the last night's repeat. And then at about seven minutes of, I started spinning this thing that said, Skype is open with some music playing. The, the game show starts in X amount of minutes. Please call. We'll get a, you know, let's get the panel going and we'll start at the top of the hour. Top of the hour came, gave all the rules, hoping people were going to call, did the whole thing, gave the categories, and it was no one but Diana. And I appreciate her calling because she kept me company. Miranda called in about 20 after but she was you got, uh, had to you take got, care of some you've stuff you've got some kind of rumble that comes out of your studio oh wait a minute now it's gone hmm i don't know yeah you sure it was me and when i started talking it stopped i th i think skype is like getting really wonky lately but anyway, so so no. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-record the program. I'm going to put a thing out on uh, Facebook saying anybody who wants to uh, participate, mm -hmm. I'm going to do the game show off the air, and then we'll just run it. Well, that's one way of doing it. But I'm just I'm very I'm well friends. We only have three people right now. Well, I there's a lot of baseball happening right now. Well, fuck them. <laughs> Playoff baseball started. And, so you got. You got that for the next couple of weeks. Oh, great! <laughs> so I'm I'm going to sit here with with uh, with the oh, only the loyalist of the loyal. Us losers, <laughs> huh? Us losers. The people who don't give a shit about baseball. <laughs> <laughs> well, this we is that's embarrassing. So don't feel bad. I've only got three people right now. Usually, I've got more than that by now. What? Well, no, you, yeah, we would have had a game. We would have had a game. If I'd have had three, we would have had a game. Yeah. Well, I'm mad at the audience. How's that? I'm not mad at you, Tom, and I'm not mad at you, Mark. You guys are always, you know, lifesavers. But I'm mad at everybody else. 
who hasn't didn't participate in your game show. Well, no, really, it pisses me off because God knows uh, when it comes to broadcasting, you have low self esteem, and for that to happen, it doesn't help. <laughs> But, Damn but, Skippy. But if this makes you feel <laughs> any better, when I, uh, I used to work over at WOR doing a Lionel show, and Lionel would go away. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then I could pray, like, maybe a car crash, something like that, you know, which would give me the job all the time. But uh, I would sit there. This, this was a national program, okay? Went out to about 100 different stations across the country. And I would yeah. sit there and give out the phone number, and nobody would call. Whoa! So you know, and I've I've talked. I remember talking to Albert and saying, "Did you uh, have you ever seen this happen when you worked at other radio stations where you know a guy didn't get any calls?" And he said, "You'd be surprised." He said, "I Rush Limbaugh used to work where I worked, and he would have nobody calling." Really? Yes. So you know, just because nobody calls doesn't mean there isn't anybody listening. Just well, in, that, just that in our is case, the replay is, lives on in in, in infamy, and what? that's the thing that really gets me is because now you're now you're there tap dancing, trying to sound like you have. Well, I didn't prepare any topics at all tonight because I expected a game show, and so I just we just vamped, we just you know just chatter. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't a very interesting program, but it was it is what it was. Yeah. Well, I you know I'm I'm very disappointed in you people, not you guys here. But you people who didn't call him, and I'm even more disappointed in the ones not calling me right now, because this is going out over live stream, and mm. uh, we got a little TV thing going tonight. But uh, you know, it doesn't look very good. I I was thinking about not doing the TV thing tonight, as a matter of fact, because uh, um, I love it. But that, I love it. I, I I wish you would actually start it at the beginning of the show. We can see Marjorie too. See the whole thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you, uh, the, the the only reason why I'm doing it is because of all the elements that allow me to have a network on the air, it is singularly the most expensive. It costs me $49 a month. Wow. Uh, and uh, so for $49 a month, I only get like four programs that I'm putting out. I should really be doing this every night. But then when yeah. I do that, the network, gets no you know a lot of people watch the video uh, rather than than uh listen to the program on the internet and so therefore if i go over to uh, the uh, internet uh, let me see here well uh well you know if i put the two bunches of people together we're doing okay tonight so that, you know, nobody's but, calling that's but amazing. nobody's calling that's uh, that's the amazing part well it's because they're listening you know uh, yes mark I got a question for you, Alex. When you were doing the fancier program on live stream, yeah. with Willie, yeah, I mean, did you were you paying for that studio time also? No, I had a friend who owned the studio, and yeah. we um, so we had a we had a deal going where if the thing ever made money, she would get a certain percentage of that money. Uh, unfortunately, it never made any money. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's there's Phil Meyer. Well, good. Uh, we at least have one more person. Uh, and, but we didn't pay for that studio, no. But we sure made it work, didn't we? It looked great. Well, the, the fact that you had Willie, I was like, wow, there's a part of my past. Actually, <laughs> yeah, actually, Willie had nothing to do with the show for the most part. All the but, all the magic you saw going on on the screen, and everything was Albert. Albert and yeah. Albert hadn't done TV. He learned, taught himself that. Took the book home, read everything, found things he could do with it that I never knew you could do with the with the equipment. And but uh, we had Cuppy, huh? Willie, Willie would Cuppy. come on with his puppet Cuppy, Once upon which a was time, which a was a, a sock puppet with a uh, coffee cup on his. You know, a little, you know, from a from a uh, Greek diner coffee cup. You know. Willie is a legendary. Uh, a long time ago, when I was somewhat involved with public access, yeah, and Willie was very much. Oh yeah, Willie's always been around. You know, but yeah. the stuff that he would do, and what got me was that. Wait a minute! I, I want to answer somebody here. We may have a problem, though. I knew we would have a problem. Miranda, who's calling? Diane, you, you, Diana. Yeah, you, I just turned it down. You, no, you can't call us on this line. 
You have oh. to call us originally. You can't go back and go to a previous uh, situation and call us. Oh, well, okay. I didn't realize they did. No, I, no, I, no, you're going to have to go back and go to Great American Broadcast and call us, okay? Bye. Uh, let me see here. Oh, now all, everybody else is having to call back. And Dan Meyer, now Dan Meyer is causing a problem. How did you, how did you know it was me? Oh, wait a minute. Wait, hold on a second. I, I've got to, I, wait a minute. I'm having problems here. Hold on a second. Okay. Uh, Dan, hang up and call back. Uh, let me see here. We got uh, Mark Thorner. I know. There we go. There we go. We can add Diane now. We can add Rob. Uh, let's see here. Anybody else? Who else do we have? Oh, and we, we need, uh, we need, um, uh, 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 for, uh, Tom Yamaguchi to call back. So call back, Tom. We need you. We need you desperately. Okay. Um, it was a, it was a problem that you shouldn't have hung up. I just, you were just kind of on hold is what the problem was. And Diane, when people call, if you've called before, don't go back and, and click on the, the link you have for the group that you were talking with. Because that yeah, I didn't really... I realize that, it. Yeah. No, you have to, you have to literally call uh, the Great American Broadcast Network, GabNet. And you've, so got, go a, you, you, you've got in your contact somewhere, GabNet, uh, yeah. and call GabNet, you know. Yeah. yeah other, it's, other, it's confusing because because it, it looks like I'm yeah. just calling GabNet because yeah. I just clicked on the GabNet uh, box. Yeah. But apparently it was a, you can't tell it's a group call when you're it, was, at it. it was a group call from before. Yeah. 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 That's okay. what happens because then you come in on a different line altogether, and I so can't. Go back to the address book. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so go, go go to your contacts and go to Great American Broad. Uh, go to GabNet. It says with yeah, a trade with a trademark sign. No, yeah, I that's usually, what I did. Diana, Diana, I usually go in through the gabnet.net website, turn off the uh, live uh, uh, show, and then click on the Skype icon. Yeah, you can do and, that. If you just click on the Skype, if you have your uh, uh, Skype open, your program yeah. will open, and just go to that and uh, hit the call on our website, it'll just dial it for you. So. Oh, yeah. Well, I just went back to my contact um, list and. Yeah. You know, kind of backtracked. Oh, what do you know? We got Tony Magno. Now you see, where were all of you for the game show? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Diana was there. That's right. Goodness, Diana. Thank you. Yeah. She, she was my yeah. co-host. I mean, I would. I know it's what it felt like. <laughs> I would have called, but I would have been able to answer all the questions. <laughs> yeah, sure. Wait a minute. Just give me a question at random, uh, Rob. Uh, that, that, I don't have any questions that I'm not going to ask in the next. Um, <laughs> well, then, so, then we can ask them one of the old ones. Well, we can consider this uh, a preview and that they already know the answer to one of the questions. So they're ahead of the game. Um, let's see. Bonus. I mean, All right. I mean, I can't believe Doug didn't call you. Oh, did I say Doug? That's what I said. Twice. No, I didn't say it twice today. He only said it once. You just can't say his name three times, otherwise he appears. Huh? Oh, you did? You yeah. don't count, though. It's only me saying oh, Okay. Um, he's, he's looking up a question for me. Any category. I don't care. I got I've, I've, Here's one. Yeah. Named yeah. after a 19th century British surgeon and autonomist, the Bauman's capsule is located in which organ of the human body? Oh, God, I should know this. Jim. Uh, it's the knee, I think. Oh, I'm sorry. Diana. <laughs> Diana. Go ahead, Diana. She's a nurse. It's was she right? Knee. Oh, she was she right? No. Huh? She, Is that the she... knee? <laughs> no. So the heart... <laughs> Uh, Wait a minute. There's somebody ringing my doorbell. Hold on. <laughs> Is it a suppository? Oh, wait. <laughs> it's called the Bauman's capsule, and I'm, I, I seem to remember this somehow, and I seem to remember it as, as being like some weird thing, place, like, yeah. you know, like either in the brain or in the... Uh, or uh, maybe in the um, 
Uh, I don't know. <laughs> is, is it south of 100? Well, don't, Street? don't 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 give the, the answer. answer. No, was don't, don't the do, kidneys. The kidneys. Oh. Uh, I should have known that. I should have known that because I I, I, I I've had my kidneys looked at. <laughs> <laughs> I've looked at your kidneys. Have you looked at my kidneys? <laughs> How have you looked at my kidneys? Uh, have we been that personal uh, together, Jim? No, I just, I was, we were well, walking down the street one day and I kind of looked and. Oh, you know. I thought maybe it was that night we had to spend in a room together in New Orleans. I, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we weren't talking those about days that. in New Orleans. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or as they call it, New Orleans. Uh, 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 Tom, uh, uh, turn on and off your camera so we can see you again. Oh, In okay. Instead of you where? The Russian River, is that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. About uh, ooh, three or four years ago, some friends of mine and I went up to uh, the Russian River you know, over Thanksgiving weekend. Camp had a nice cabin we rented and great weekend. You know, I used to go there all the time when I was a kid because my father used to play up there uh, music. Yeah. Uh, there used to be clubs and things like that up there, and the bands yeah. would play, and so uh, we would stay at the Russian River. Mm -hmm. uh, and then in the last couple of years, I don't know if this is true, it became a, a, a gay, kind of a gay... It is. Uh, it, Guerneville, that area, very, very large uh, gay population there. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, uh, 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 but very, very nice area. Very nice mm -hmm. area. Great. But, Alex, um, yeah, yes, I'm, I'm, it, it, I may have discovered something by accident about the cameras. Uh, I found that if I wait until you actually accept my call yeah. before I uh, turn the camera on, uh -huh. uh, it seems to work. If I turn the camera on prior to your uh, accepting the call, then it uh, it doesn't show up. And it may have been a coincidence, but it, it was something no, I consciously meant, well, it would make, tried tonight. It would make sense because sometimes we ask you to turn your camera off and on again. And so right, that exactly. may be exactly what it does. Yeah. By so, the way, by uh, the way, this program, in case you've just joined us and never heard it before, the entire subject matter of this program is Skype. Oh, so, uh, <laughs> you would think so. You don't want, it, but it, it's a subject. It, it's the constant subject uh, is Skype, kind of like when Doug used to be on. Oh boy, I said his name a second time. Uh, uh -oh. He then became the constant butt of conversation any annoyance becomes the <laughs> the topic of conversation on the program it's so true i, I just oh, wanted to say that to, uh, yeah oh yes go ahead Tom. yes jim from revelstoke british oh, Columbia. I, just, I just wanted to say that uh uh revelstoke jim appears on the ramble tonight courtesy of Tim Hortons. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> Ooh, he's living large. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, what kind of what it was? It Tim Hortons coffee? Yeah, it's an iced latte. An iced latte. Now, uh, did you get some Tim bits? Uh, no, but I I did get a. Uh, I, there's the empty bag. Yeah. I got it. I had a old fashioned plain donut. Now, now, don't you also get like uh, Tim stamps or something with that, or Tim? <laughs> Coupons no, or uh, Tim uh, Tim points or something? No, no, but uh, you know you can you can get a Tim Horton Visa card. Really? Yeah, you get and you can collect points on your Tim Horton's Visa card, and uh, so you can use it uh, towards things at Tim Horton's. But uh, now let's let's uh, tell people what Tim Horton's is. There's a Tim Horton's app. Because people, there's, a, people yeah, there's an app for that. That's we, right. It, Tim Hortons yeah. hasn't uh, Hortons gone. Has they, they haven't come below the border, have they? Yes, they yes, have. They yeah. Have. yeah. Really? There's three of them in the town I grew up in, in Lockport, New York. Really? Just just yeah. uh, north of Buffalo. Got we it. have three of them. Yeah. Oh, Buffalo is pretty close oh, to Canada. Close to Gee, yeah. I, yeah. I, I loved it when you know Tim Horton was one of the first uh, um, uh, Doctor Who fans. He, 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 <laughs> oh, God, don't go there. He used to listen to it on radio, and it was interesting when Horton hears a who. Oh, that's right. So, uh, <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Hang on. I'm, I'm slow on the draw here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. He's our, he's our sound effects guy on the program. Uh, but no, I'm just, I'm having a nice latte, so I'll be wide awake at, uh, well, nine o'clock I'm, I'm having my uh, maybe if I plug them they'll send me one my uh, <laughs> lots of luck 
my uh, Starbucks uh, Frappuccino, which I buy a you case know, every two weeks. Like, you know, it'd be funny, Alex, next week, this semi shows up and they just <laughs> start bringing in crates and crates of that stuff well, into your apartment. There, there was a, uh, 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 when I was working in San Francisco at the Quake, my oh. newsman, Joe Rogelski, uh, used to always make jokes Alex? about what was what was the name of the soap, Tom? It wasn't soap. No, but it was okay. soap. It what was... happened was Joe Rogelski loved the house brands at Safeway. Right. He did mention soap, the truly fine Miss Deodorant soap. Yes. But one particular morning, well, he was it, talking well, about Craignot soda. Craignot soda was that it? See, he remembers it things was a right. Craignot soda. Yeah. Yes. And so he was talking how he liked the Cragmont soda. He liked the Cragmont soda, and then suddenly, about a week one later, day, yeah, a shipment of a, a box came for him, and it was up, and it was Cragmont a, soda, a, cra a crate of Cragmont soda. So and I, so that's when you said, "That's when I said, well, is it that easy to get stuff for free just by mentioning them?" And he said, "Apparently so, because I now have a case of Cragmont soda." I said. Have I told you how much I love those Apple computers? <laughs> yeah, the Macintosh, it just came out. The Macintosh computers, right. And I said, I, I've heard they're terrific. I love them. They're wonderful. So I, I'm, a, I'm at home one afternoon, and all of a sudden I get a call from the station. It's my boss. And he said, uh, a big box has come for you. Uh, and uh, we think you should come down right now and open it up because we have an idea of what it might be and we have the lawyers on the case to see if you can accept it all right oh no and uh, I so immediately I get in the car and I rush down to the studio I'm there in about 10 minutes I, I who knows what this is and I go there and it is a big box and it is from Apple computer and I'm going, oh my God. And they said, well, what, what What? do you mean, oh my God? I said, well, the other day we were joking about this thing and saying, you know, that you can get things just by mentioning them. And so I said how much I love the Apple computers. And and apparently, and, and he says, well, we thought that's what it might be. And we talked to the lawyers and they said, you can have it. You can take it. Because it's not really Plugola. It was a joke you were making. And they're making a joke in return by presenting you. And I open it up, and sure enough, it's a it's Macintosh a box. box. Wow. Yeah, amazing, just amazing. And I open up the box, and it's full of Cragmont soda. Oh. Yay! <laughs> Alex, I have been waiting for this moment for several years. Yes. But through the years, you've been trying to tell the same story. Yeah. And you always miss the fact that it was Cragmont Soda. And so I was just so happy to be able to update you on what it really was. Yeah, because yeah. I think the fact it was Cragmont Soda makes, just makes that story. And people at Apple thought they would do that as a joke. And it was a wonderful <laughs> joke. I have to say that, albeit a, a bit big, disappointing. A disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> but you... There. But you do love the GoPro, right? <laughs> well, I told you that. <laughs> Let me just take time to tell you how much, since this is TV night, I love the GoPro. Uh, it is. Uh, now, I have the Hero 3, and I just wish I could lay my hands on the new Hero 4, which I hear is going to be the best camera ever known to mankind. If Matthew. And I have. I have the Hero 3 Plus, oh. and I heard that yeah. the Hero 4 is going to be even better. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, Gabnet, Gabnet loves their GoPro cameras. Yeah, okay. Actually, and we and I guess we can uh, wait until Monday because we'll get a big case of uh, Cragmont Soda Cragmont for both of soda. us. Yeah. <laughs> Was the soda any good, Alex? Really? Uh, I I guess I gave it to I gave it to uh, Rigelski because he liked Cragmont soda. <laughs> hey Alex. Yeah. Uh, I've uh, listened to a couple of other podcasts where they actually contact the company that they're interested in and say that they want to try their product so that they can review it. 
yeah. for instance, if uh, Rode microphones, uh, if you uh, tweeted them or uh, wrote them and said that you had a podcast and you're interested in trying one of them, they'll send you they'll send you one, two, even three for uh, f uh, for a trial, and you might be able to do the same thing with GoPro. Tell them you want to uh, rate, uh, review mm -hmm. uh, the Hero Four, mm -hmm. and so you, you probably keep it for several months, uh, and uh, then you return them. But by the time you get done reviewing it and keeping it, the next one, the Hero Five, comes out, and then you say, "I want to review that one." Uh, it, it's uh, it, it actually works. I I, I listened oh, to another oh, no, podcast. Not, it wouldn't work I, with I, GoPro. Wouldn't work with no. GoPro. Wouldn't well, work with it worked, Apple. It worked with Rode microphones. Well, yes, uh, because they're a small little company that nobody ever heard. Of. I never heard of them. Work, no, I they're out of I, Australia. Huh? I tried it with Behringer before uh, I bought my new mixer. I tried it with Behringer. Tried to get new mixers mm -hmm. for everybody on the network. <laughs> and <laughs> never heard a single damn thing. So I had to go buy my own freaking Behringer mixer. So there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, I, I tell you what. I am on Rhodes because uh, 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 I have one. I'm on uh, their Twitter thing. They follow me. Mm -hmm. I'll I'll Twitter them. And tell them that uh, Gabnet Network wants to uh, uh, review, try and review for their uh, yeah, but then, then, broadcast. Yeah, but then we're going to uh, have to send them back at some point. You know. Well, that's true. It's just uh, you get to see if you like it or not. One time, I, you know, I, I got uh, finally one day Apple did uh, do right by me. One day I was talking about how I love PCs, and somebody at Apple at that time. And this wasn't when Jobs was back there. This is when uh, uh, that guy uh, from. Uh, I can't remember what company. What was he? We work for Pepsi Cola or something. Yes, yeah, Scully. Scully. Yeah, yeah Scully. Scully. We had the company, and they said we'd like you to try one of our our Apple computers. So I said, well, I don't know. And they said, come on, you'll see how great they are. And they sent me one. Well, this was at the time when Apple was building the worst possible Apple computers you can possibly imagine. Where they send you in the fact, Lisa. at one point, I wanted to see what was inside, <laughs> and as insulation, they were using tin foil. I mean, that's how bad it was. The outside was plastic, you know, nothing. I mean, Steve Jobs must have been apoplectic when he saw this thing come out, and it never worked it right, fixed. and it was terrible. And I signed a thing saying that I would use it for a year, and after a year, I'd have to give it back. At the end of the year, I called them, and I said, the year's up. Where do I send it? And they said, oh, go ahead. Keep it. I said, it's a piece of shit. <laughs> and, and they said, we know. Keep it. <laughs> and, you know, but it was terrible. Wow, was that a terrible computer. And, and it's surprising I ever wound up being the acolyte for Apple like I have over the years now, you know. Mm -hmm. So, so somebody's I mean, some kind of slap back there. Let me turn this down here a second and up again. And there we go. That's better. Anyway, but uh, yeah, if you want to try get the microphones for us, they'll probably laugh you out of even Australia or wherever they are. Well, you know, everybody's got the microphone they like. I'll try and get it for you and see and see what I can do. Yeah, sure. They'll they'll do that. Um, right. Well, yeah. no, no, no. They do it. Uh, you know, Mark's probably familiar with this guy, Frono's Photo, Jared Poland. He's got a uh, podcast, uh, a weekly podcast. Everybody has a podcast. Uh, well, anyway, this guy successfully got them to give him two road broadcasters, just like mine, and uh, arms and everything else. And then every few months, they send them something else to play with. And, uh, and the broadcasters, they let them keep. Yeah, and how many Those people? And how, many, how big an audience does he have? Uh, 100, 120,000, I think. Uh, but that's that's subscribers. I don't know how big his audience is. What do you mean, he, subscribers he to what? To where? To his podcast. To his podcast. Well, we don't have that, you know. But I don't think of us as podcasters either. I think I I think of us as broadcasters, and just the byproduct of what we do creates a podcast. Well, the microphone is called the broadcaster. Oh well, uh, there. And, oh. Yeah, well, and and it's uh, supposedly for radio stations and radio shows. Uh, yeah. The only reason mine doesn't sound good is it's my voice. <laughs> you oh, know? Well, yeah, you tell me. I don't know. How, I, I mean, I don't know how many people we have listening to us. I mean, in a month, I think uh, I could make a case for fifty thousand. You know, 
Well, I, you know, you might uh, with, uh, I'll just forward your wiki as well and maybe <laughs> I can do something. No. Uh, you know, if, because, if, you, uh, if you want to try, I, yeah, I, I, I don't try. really care. I, I, I love this microphone that I have, actually. By the You're way, sure? I, also, what? I, just, I also wanted to say I saw his wiki in a hotel room in New Orleans. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah, put, He's better put his wiki away or he'll get arrested. Yeah. <laughs> At the same time you saw his kidneys? Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. what I'm saying. It, it, uh, I'll They're tell you, very Rob, close. Rob, you're overmodulating a little bit. Turn your mic down a bit, just a little bit. <laughs> How's that? Huh? How's that? Much better, much better. Uh, um, so anyway, um, hey, Tony, we haven't said hello to you. I was just listening. How you doing? I was hey, watching the Dodger game. Hey, uh, yeah, you traitor. <laughs> they actually, they lost the Dodgers 10-9. Because the Giants won. Because the Giants yeah. won? The Gigantes? The San Francisco Gigantes? No, wait a minute. The Giants? Yeah, the Giants. Yeah. The yep. best pitcher in baseball, Alex Kershaw, had a 6-1 lead. Doug and Kershaw? And blasting him. Doug Kershaw. Kershaw. They got, he got, he had a 6-1 lead and they got to him, the Cardinals. They now, were hitting now, bombs all now, over I, I, You know, I respect the, the crap out of you, Tony. In fact, I was just telling my wife tonight that you're one of my favorite callers because there's a certain oh. innocence to you, Tony. Thank you. That, that, uh, I do not, uh, I, that, 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 that I like. But you know something? When it comes to baseball, I don't give a shit. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> i got to get you to go to a game. Huh? You, you want to if you like baseball. I like the history of baseball. I yeah, like, I like the, the, what can I call it, the romance of baseball. You know, I sit around listening to baseball stories about yeah, like Babe that. Ruth fucking two hookers at a time, you know, stories like that. And I love hearing it, you know. <laughs> but, uh, oh, look who's here. Uh, Patrick. Oh, oh, there he is. Hello, Patrick. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what Still are we doing? Room for listening, one more. listening to a, watching a baseball game? No, I was on the phone with my mother. Oh, and you and 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 that kept you from coming to us. I see. Okay. Well, and remember last night I wasn't on because the Green Bay Packers whooped the fuck out of the Vikings, so I had to watch that. Oh, okay. You can't watch that and do the show at the same time. No. It, it demands <laughs> your full and and complete attention. Well, here's what I do. Do you wear your I wife beater to- shirt when you're watching that? By the way. <laughs> I have it on the TV, and I have the television on mute, and then I have the radio of the radio broadcast that's local mm-hmm. called Game. So, yeah, so there's okay. no way that I could. So when is the next time that the Green Bay Packers play on a night that we're doing a show? Uh, I'm sure there's a Monday night coming up. Yeah. Okay. Well, just you know, get a note from the coach, and we'll let you off. <laughs> yeah, v- Vince Lombardi. It has to be signed by, by Vince, Vince Lombardi. Lombardi. <laughs> and you can you can miss the show. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And you got to wear your cheese head on the show. I don't have one. No. Listen to the Canadian it. knowing all this. American football history. Wow. It's well, the, he, the reason Jim knows about that is most Canadians are schooled in the American uh, experience because soon they're going to attack us and take us over. And so they, <laughs> they want need to, to know it. everything. Oh, that's they right. can... You have to get indoctrinated into the. That's culture. right. And, and, and our, our creeping socialism is making its way slowly across the border. Now, I think we should attack them before they get a chance to attack us because it's the last thing they'll expect. You know? Well, that's what Patrick said to me. And I said, we burnt your White House last time. We could do it again. Did you burn the White House? <laughs> yes, in 1812. You yes, did, but the Canadians you? had to borrow our matches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did they jump the fence? Okay. <laughs> now, 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 I they uh, sold us the, the fence. It's open. made of maple. Tony was uh, uh, again. I get messages from Tony. Oh, I was bought. You know, I got a message. They called me from my house and work. What? Yep. Yeah. My brother came over to visit, right? So they yeah. were visiting my mother. My mother calls me in work. You know yeah. what happened? You know what the dog does? No, well, wait a minute. Here's what he writes me today. Okay. Uh, oh no, that's Jim's. Wait a minute. Let me get. Uh, let me get yours. 
Jim's is always about, uh, oh, today's, uh, oh, yum, I'm going to do my Yum Kipper show any moment now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah that's true. Uh, let me see here. Tony Magno. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, so, Tony, here's, here's uh, let's see here. Are you up, Alex? That, that's You write those every now and then. Like, I am do. I, I up? Want to, I want to see if you're reading the messages sometimes. That's why I do that. Am I up? And then uh, before that, the message read, Coco will eat anything. Wait, here, here, <laughs> you see the thing I said, oh, she'll eat anything. Anything I eat, she wants to eat it. Dogs will eat dog shit. But I think the lab <laughs> really has a crazy hunger, though. They really like they like to eat everything. They love water. They, <laughs> eat, they eat dog shit. No, yes. really, she has Am I right, guys? Sense. Anybody want to argue with that, or what they I just said? No. I no. Just, no. And I don't trust I mean, any animal that will eat its own shit. You know, really? <laughs> although <laughs> although in this day and age you could look at it uh, in the positive way, it's recycling. Eat <laughs> <laughs> dogs. Then he writes, "I have to tell you something later about the puppy." Yeah, this. And is the good. last message is, "Are you on later?" Yeah, I wasn't I'm, sure if you were on because young kid, but I wasn't sure if you were going to be on. Oh. You mean you think I would take a Jewish holiday off? I don't know. I wasn't sure. I don't know. I, don't know. I, or I thought you might have been off today. I wasn't sure if you were going to take a day off. No. I, here's here. Well, here's what used to happen. Here's what used to happen in New York with me. Is my yeah. my theory was I worked the Jewish holidays, and the reason I worked the Jewish holidays is if I was Christian, I would work the Christian holidays. Okay. So if if I had to work Christmas, I would work Christmas if I were Christian. So uh, I, I don't didn't consider taking them off. And so I never, ever took off a Jewish holiday. Well, I moved to New York, went to work for WMCA in New York, and now it comes up on Yom Kippur, which is the highest of all holy days. Which, by the way, just for your knowledge, um, I, I named one of my dogs after the holiday years ago. Kipper. We named him Kipper, right? Mm -hmm. And then everybody would say, you named him after the fish? No, we fish. named him after the holiday. And they went, that's the <laughs> highest holy day of the Jewish year. How can you name your dog after that? And I said, well, that's how Jewish we are. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so um, I'm working at WMCA, and they say, well, of course you're taking tomorrow night off. And I said, why? They said, it's Yom Kippur. And I said, so? And they said, so you're taking the night off. I said, no, I don't, I'm not taking the night off. I don't need to take the night off. They said, you're taking the night off. And I said, what do you mean? Are you ordering me to take the night off? They said, we don't want to look bad having a Jew in New York working on Yom Kippur. <laughs> and I was forced to take the night off. What? So what did they do? Burn yeah, a crackling? Uh, they give you the sounds of a crackling Yule log uh, during your show, or uh, did they have a replacement? No, guy? they got a they got a they got a Gentile, to, you know, to do the show. That's what Gentiles are good for, by the way. Phil, <laughs> Frankie <laughs> Crocker, huh? And Frankie, was he good? <laughs> Frankie Crocker, right? <laughs> um, yeah. But that, that you know, they, they forced me to work on Yom Kippur. So uh, I, I'm, I guess I am working on Yom Kippur because when the sun went down, it's a high holy day. Shall we sit? Shall we do uh, what? What is it? The Kol Nidra? That's uh, uh, is that with the big ram's horn or you something? Know, the Kol Nidra is the song they sing. A song, whatever the chant they sing. It's the song of the dead. It's the prayer of the dead. Um, and and oh, what Yom Kippur, thing? Yeah, 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 it, it is the um, um, uh, Yom Kippur um, is, is a is, holy, is day. holy day. Is it what? the Kol Nidre? Kol Nidre. Kol Nidre. Kol Nidre. What, 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 the uh, video is really bad with you, Alex. You know, it's so yeah. funny because Rebel Soak Jim is coming in the most clear, and he's the farthest away. Yeah, but I, I, uh, uh, the clearest, the clear, clearest for me tonight is uh, is uh, is Phil. Phil's always very clear. Oh yeah, and yeah, uh, and uh, uh, let's see here. That's because I have a friend that's a Scientologist. Rob, right? Yeah, Rob <laughs> Alfano is the second clearest. So what did what were you going to tell me about the puppy? Well, actually. 
they call me in work. I was in the warehouse. So I says, what do you want? I thought they wanted me to bring something home. Bring a so hat she, home for the dog. No, actually, I thought it was going to be milk. I bought it anyway. I says, what happened? So my brother kind of says, you never, he says, when you go, when you go home, he says, you know what she does? I says, I don't know. I says, what happened? What happened was my mother went to the bathroom, right? So when she got out of the bathroom, she must have washed her hands or something. So then sometimes, you know, the, she thought she closed the faucet off, which she did. So yeah. my brother walked by, he was in the kitchen, he says, Ma, I'm going to leave. He says, you didn't turn the water off, I'll turn it off. She says, I just turned it off. So my brother says, I'll turn it off. So my brother was getting ready to leave, and he was in the kitchen going through some mail, and then he heard the water go back on again. So he's like, he looked, the dog jumped up on the, where the, you know, in the, in the bathroom where the water's coming out, in the faucet. She pushes her nose by the faucet, kicks it over like that. And the water comes out. She's drinking out of it. You know what I'm going to try to do, Alex? I'm going to try to get it on my iPhone on video for you. I'll send it to you. Because when I tr I said go uh, up and uh, do it, she Tony, does. Tony, she'll Tony, Tony, and Tony, she did it in front of me. Tony, when I was my you feet. don't have to go to the trouble. You should. <laughs> that is yeah. the most boring dog story I've ever heard. I thought you'd like it. I kind of found it neat that she knows how to turn the faucet on. Uh, uh, we, we just lost Jim. What happened to Jim? We had a full I house. The story yeah. might have got to him that He probably died of boredom yeah. up there in Revelstoke. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I, I had his picture for oh, a minute, I, so maybe he had a problem. My mother said, trade to go on the potty. I said, I don't know if I can yeah. do that. Uh, uh, Tom? Tom? You uh, yeah, actually, I'm going to get off because when you've got this many people, I want to make room for a new person. So no, I am the, definitely going to get off well, of don't, this don't, watch on the live stream. Okay. Um, but, as often as but, you're on, but don't, you're on, like don't, a new person. Don't count on if, us getting uh, a new person. No, no, that's okay. I, I'll, I'll watch on the live stream. But uh, happy, have a good night, everybody. Tom needs to good stay. night, Tom. Okay. Good, to oh, good night, Tom. Uh, I'm going to be leaving because... Skype has pooped out on um, what? Well, they're all leaving. Oh, there, sure. Everybody's leaving now. Are you there, Dan? He's a picture of himself. Dan? Oh, it's frozen. He's frozen. Wow. Yeah, so Tom leaves and then And then of course we'll yeah. we'll lose Tony without knowing it, you know. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna actually take my shower. Where's everybody going? I'm losing it's everybody here. It's like musical chairs or something. <laughs> well, I'll stay on if you want. I wait. Yeah, no, you. stay on. We can't, okay, let me just get a drink. I'll be right back. We can't smell you from here. <laughs> get, get me one. <laughs> anyway, what are we down to? We we were up to ten, and now we're down to seven, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we need some callers if you want to call. <laughs> what happened to Jim? Well, Jim has a show to do tonight, so he's maybe preparing for that. I don't know. So Patrick, tell me about this exciting football game last night. Was it was it worth missing us? Yes, it was worth missing. <laughs> it was better than sex. It was better than just about anything that I could have imagined. So. Let, let, let's discuss this. Uh, there are some things in this world, I'm sure, I think, that are better than sex. So uh, would we care to discuss those? What's so so you're saying sex? that that game last night was better than sex? Yes. Really? Yep. It, it was absolutely, yep. It was a, a division rivalry. We yeah. trounced them. It was great. Let's um, see here. Better than a rim job? Well, I <laughs> wouldn't be a rim job anyway, so. Did uh, you have an <laughs> orgasm afterwards? Well, well. <laughs> Well, what, what, when you I'm could, when you could feel a rim job, let's put it that way. <laughs> never had a rim job. Really? Yeah, never was into that. Oh well, my God. Well, you know, I don't know, uh, uh, um, um, uh, 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 Dan, rim job. <laughs> never had it. I must uh, really? concur with Patrick. But, I've, it, I've never. Um, no one has ever dared to uh, explore those depths. Uh, uh, the uh, nether regions. As long as you free shower, you have no problem. Well, not that side. I'm going the... to tell you a story right now that just came over the wires. You're not going to believe this. Oh boy! So I do rim jobs. Don't 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 blow the story as I as I tell it because it's going to be a shock to Phil as well. Okay. Yeah. But Phil uh, alerted me to a guy who. Uh, worked in it was it took over a station in San Francisco KGO talk station uh, and also KSFO as well Kevin right? Kevin Matheny who huh. was known in the business uh, as uh, as uh, pig, pig virus pig vomit 
or pig virus. Oh yeah, pig virus actually. Yeah, uh, uh, it, when he was at uh, here in New York at WNBC, and I worked for his father, Carol Matheny, who was the f pro first program director I ever had here in New York. Uh, and he was, um, um, uh, so uh, you had mentioned that you had written him a note and you had mentioned me. And of course, he said some nice things about me to you. So yes. I had my friend, Walter Sabo, mm -hmm. right, uh, see if he could help me with the guy. And he called him and talked to him personally. And the guy said, wow, Alex Bennett. Yeah, sure, I know of Alex. I you know, followed his career over the years. He says, well, you know, he was big in San Francisco. He says, yeah, I know he was big in San Francisco. And he says, he's looking around. He says, and one other thing you may not know, he was born and raised in San Francisco. And the guy's going, I'll, I've got to give him a call. Okay, so w Walter gave him his number, my number, and he never called. I never you heard want from me to him. prod him. This was too well. If you want to, because the news just came across that he passed away from an apparent heart attack. Oh. Well, uh, that's going to be hard to do then. So if you want to prod him, go right ahead. Get a big hey, stick and start yeah. poking at him. Push him across. Hey, you know, uh, he's a young guy. Yeah, I think he's younger than me. He, uh, it says an announcement is expected. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, that's all. That's all the uh, the only thing they have. So the so only ch channel killed them. So the uh, the only chance I had recently of of getting back into the uh, into the broadcasting business uh, just died. Huh? Just had a heart attack. Just had a just heart died. attack. Just died. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I, I was looking out for you, you know, I uh, uh, because he was also uh, a, a friend of another friend that is a PD in uh, in in Detroit, and yeah. I think uh, Matheny came out of Detroit, and I knew that they knew each other. Yeah. Um, um, so um, uh, that's that's the kind of luck I've been having lately. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just find that amazing that the, a guy who I actually had a shot with uh, just died of a heart attack. So. Oh. Universe it's, is telling you something else. Yeah, it's trying to tell me that uh, you better get that Ebola soon. <laughs> oh, <stop>. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you know what's in the news, and uh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, Ebola might be the only chance you have left. It's the only chance I'll have at publicity. Just uh, you get <laughs> Ebola, and then they'll, they'll they'll take pictures of the hospital where I am. You know, you know, you know, you know. I tell you, I um. I'm just because I, I, I and you know I was on my way home. That's why I I called briefly when I was on my way home. I heard that poor story of, Rob, of what Rob was saying. Only one person on on his game show, and I wish I I know it was Diane. The rest <laughs> of you, by the way, shame yeah. for shame on all of you. Mm -hmm. All of well, it, except uh, for Rob, of uh, course. Uh, 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 but, uh, by the way, did I mention <laughs> uh, did I mention that Diane won? Yeah, yeah. Sure she did. Damn. I like that by default. But, yeah. yeah, but, um, you We're know, do we, this we, weekend, I mean, uh, you want to play? Uh, this what weekend? Well, Anytime. What time? We're going to pre record it. We're going to pre record it. What, what time? I Let me know. I, I, work, I work 12 to 6 tomorrow and 12 to 5 Sunday. So in the evening, like tomorrow evening. So if we, how's that? Mm. Uh, let me know. Yeah, I should be around. Well, right. you know, uh, I uh, uh, it, it doesn't really matter if you do do it pre-recorded because. Uh, no, it doesn't at all. You it's, know, you would never know it was pre-recorded. Yeah. There's Mrs. No need Meyer, to... can Danny come out and play? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, 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 I'll try. Just uh, send me an email or something. You know my. I should give it. Hey, if I, I gave up my email address, I wonder who would email me. From I'd email on here, yeah, How many people? MRDAN1969 at gmail.com. Let's see how That's many listeners are out there want to email me. It's right there on your um, on your Skype, Mr. Dan. Yeah. Now, yeah. Mr. Dan, 1969. Well, I just, you know, I, I was just mad that nobody called him for the game show tonight because. Uh, yeah. You know, it's been a little Somebody story. did. Somebody did. D yeah, Diane, Diane did. Diane did. Loyal, so loyal uh, listener. Not That's even that. Patrick. The show aired. Not even Patrick. 
Patrick, aren't you ashamed of yourself? Well, that's what kind of excuse is that? I wonder how our check is. It's Gabnet. I wonder it's how Gabnet. We all believe okay. in Gabnet. Okay. I had to all work, right. but I would have been there. Yeah, he's a I was getting get paid. Uh, uh, I wonder how our, um, our, our uh, we haven't heard from him, our Czechoslovakian friend is doing. I was wondering yeah. about that, too. Yeah. He, he's in line for medical uh, uh, an appointment. Oh, shut up. Uh, you and your, <laughs> your right-wing <laughs> palaver. Jesus Christ. Phil. You know, here, here, I'm, here, I'm, uh, I'm looking at something from the masses. Huffington Post today. Yeah, because here's the thing. I always liked it when he was here because then we got into some really heated, heated. political yeah. arguments. But lately, you've, yeah. you've had no, no, you haven't got the fire in your belly to come after me. Yeah, oh, I, I'll come well. after you if you want. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, on the I, Kevin Matheny front, well, I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, uh, yeah. What? What? Uh, yeah. Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. It escaped my mind. So go ahead. Oh, uh, I was reading a Huffington Post mm -hmm. on uh, the uh, Kevin Matheny thing. It says pig virus quarantined. Kevin Matheny fired from WGN Radio, and it said that he was the worst program director ever. Uh, nice thing to have on the day you die, huh? Is that today. part of his yeah, obituary? Yeah, no, he. He says he uh, his WRN radio boss warned talent, build audience or you're out. Uh, you you wouldn't have lasted. <laughs> Who me? <laughs> yeah, build audience or you're out. You know? oh, oh, that's what Kevin said to them. Oh, that's what Alex, Kevin said. Well, Alex is, would have. I would have built audience. On WGN. I would have built. He'd fit audience. in real well. I, I guess I've you know listened. he must have he must have ruled uh, like like a like a Nazi and uh, it, uh, that's why they fired him. Well, how yeah. long was he there? I don't know. Yeah. Well, he uh, he he lost his job now at KGO. So. Oh, uh, <laughs> and I also just got a text from Doug Dupree. Mm -hmm. He said, "Tell everybody if you want." He heard from. Uh, uh, I just went. Dark. Uh, he he heard from David. And he is now cancer free. Hey, so, that's uh, excellent. Oh. So he can't see, call us. There's well, that. It's also, you know. See, there you go, Phil. There you go, <laughs> Phil. And that, the uh, reason he hasn't called our show the, is he's too busy. Government health care has worked. No. Uh -huh. You yeah. know, what happened is they stole the cancer right out of his body and they sold it to some uh, less deserving person. Oh boy, you grasp oh, for straws Jesus on that one. He's, yeah. he's really reaching. Uh, okay, Phil's I'm really very reaching. happy. I'm very happy Phil. that David is cancer free. Yeah, but, but I'm uh, see, here's the knowing. Thing. But you know the reason he hasn't called the program? No, he's too busy watching sports. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see, here, you know, I'm, I, I'm just, I'm just wondering what they did uh, to uh, uh, on his prostate. You know, uh, all of us that have enlarged prostates, it's it's always a uh, an issue down the road. Uh, you know, the, the possibility I like the way you put that. It's an issue down the road. Yeah. yeah. If you stick your oh. finger up there far enough. Down the stream. Well, they want down to do another stream. biopsy on me, yeah. They want to do another biopsy on you? Yeah, because it, uh, it grew uh, uh, when the PSA went up. Oh, he had a proton treatment, according to Doug. So uh, what is the proton? Is that where they put the pill in there? and or oh, is that, Well, they, uh, yeah, they put in uh, radioactive uh Buds or something into yeah. your prostate, mm -hmm. uh, which is really balls. great because every time you come, it glows in the dark. So <laughs> that's what Giuliani so. had done, isn't it? Yeah, it's what Giuliani had done, uh, and it's it seems so. Um, what yeah. are you and say? it doesn't uh, doesn't affect your bladder or anything. No, it actually is probably the more benign of the uh, of the treatments, and it seems to have been uh, always seemed to have been effective. Uh, 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 you want to like say something, Diane? Oh, I, I was going to. No, not Dan. I said, so Di like, I, I said oh. Diane. Oh, I said it's, oh, a, it's a common procedure <laughs> that, yeah, there are radioactive isotopes. Yeah. And you really are radioactive. They tell you, they tell them to stay away oh, oh, from you, you know what like happened? pregnant women and stuff. Like well, this is true. So I go yeah. in for a. Um, uh, uh, because my doctor wants to make sure I don't have a heart problem for a uh, nuclear stress test. So I go in there and I don't know, they shoot me up with some kind of isotopes or something and I have to wait an hour 
and then I go in and because I can't I can't get on the treadmill because of my heart works weird so they can't use a um, uh, they EKG can't, yeah. EKG on me so they got it they have to shoot me up with uh, with uh, chemicals which will uh, make my heart beat like a rabbit. And I mean, it was mm. the most excruciating thing I've gone through. It's just, I thought I was going to die because my chest is just going boom, 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 boom. Anyway, oh, I go through this whole thing. Then they put you, then they take you and they, they put you in this thing and they take pictures of you so they can see the radioactivity or whatever. And then as you're leaving, they say, oh, by the way, uh, don't get near any pregnant women. Yeah. And I said, why? <laughs> and they said, well, you're radioactive. And I went, uh, you're joking, right? And the guy went, How long were you I'm not joking. radioactive? About a day. Huh. Yeah. It's yeah, not it's much of a half life. Well, uh, yeah, but I'm thinking to myself, you just, you know, you just turn me into a nuclear bomb here and you're letting me out of the hospital? Imagine uh, yeah. if you went to the airport and they uh, swabbed you down for. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, bomb making materials or something, and they say this guy's nuclear active. Where's the bomb? Yeah, you know? yeah, it could be. But anyway, I just uh, let me see here. How many people do we have? Here? A nine, nine, nine. Okay. Jim has returned. Yeah, yeah, Jim had a full house last night, a couple of nights ago, didn't you? On the on the on the adventure, or seven. no? I had seven, which uh, is that the was... most he's ever had on an adventure. And uh, you almost had to tie them all together, didn't you? So they would follow. Uh, That's right. Yeah. yeah. We Everybody. all wore the same t-shirt. So yeah. I, I, could, I could recognize them at a distance. So yeah. it was fine. They all had to hold hands. You That's know. right. That's what, right. What, Nobody got lost. Which yeah. was difficult. Was, Patrick was milking a moose at the time. Yeah. I was pretty it, woozy. It, by so the way, I always I have don't. to ask when you say things like that, is that a euphemism? Well, it was a male, it was a male moose, so... Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know how much milking actually happened. <laughs> but let me tell you, I was good at it. It, it was enough. Yeah. <laughs> well, we, we, the last we saw the moose, it was like having a cigarette. <laughs> Look, looked like it was very relaxed for a moose, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, he gave Mark. I, I brushed a though. beaver. So. You what? Yeah. I brushed a beaver. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What 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 did he, what what did do uh, you have to do with the moose, Patrick? What's that? What well, who had to do something to a moose? What was that? Yeah, I, I was milking a moose. And then you were what, a Dan? Or oh, I was right, brushing, me, Mark, a, brushing a beaver. Brushing a beaver. Yeah. <laughs> what other euphemistic things were people doing for you that night? <laughs> That's um, what we're eating um, for. I, Dan, I think somebody went. Somebody went and uh, somebody went uh, mutton busting. I think didn't we have mutton busting? We did, but I don't think any of us went on. Is there it. anything uh, in Canada, Canada and, that doesn't sound like a sexual act? I got well, one. the one thing that I that afterwards I remember is is that we we didn't do the chip, chicken plot bingo. That's what I was That's looking right. for. Yeah, I missed out on that. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. What just, kind of rodeo was this? <laughs> you know, it was, it was. <laughs> rodeos have have clowns. <laughs> they have horses. Oh, they got yeah. fucking broncos. You Who know. Was that? Oh, they were. Oh, all right. There was, was that. Who rode the bull? Patrick's Dan rode the bull. Back. I'm sure there was a lot of bull. I rode the bull. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, I'm used, I see. I'm used to bull because I deal with you, Phil. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's a uh, hit below the belt. <laughs> and, yeah, and Diana won the uh, the corn eating contest. Oh yeah, yeah. leave it to me to be happy. I think yeah, we, we all won contest. our contest, yeah. right? All, we all won. Even the, that sounds right. like a euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I was Al that Alex that is horny. Shaped cup. <laughs> nah. <laughs> the days of my entire life were euphemisms. <laughs> 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 He didn't, he didn't fart though. He didn't fart. No, that wasn't the farting moose. There, there's, there's, you know, no, no. There, there was no moose farting that night. There was some farting, but there was no moose farting. Oh. It wasn't by a moose. Lucky me. <laughs> I guess I just can't eat corn. I have corn in my freezer, and I just can't bring myself to even look at it. <laughs> 
Yeah, well. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even want to get so no, there's been seven discussion. people. It was it was an enjoyable evening. I, uh, I, uh, oh, yeah, it was like, fun. Yeah, I was but- cracking up so early in the morning. I was hysterical. I woke up the next morning and heard the replay, and I'm laying in bed, and I'm usually just like, oh, I got to get up, and I'm cracking up. It's just, that was funny. Patrick oh. had spurs on his wheelchair. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what was your favorite part, Rob? Uh, it was it was listening to everybody uh, kind of when those double entendres were being <laughs> tossed about. But the things oh, that yeah. people were saying was hysterical. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Of course, you have to work in as many as you possibly can. Beaver oh, Patrick, brushing. Oh, I. Yeah. Patrick went into the dunk tank, too. That was the other thing. The dunk no, tank. Yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. he, was, he was a good sport. <laughs> he was a good sport. He at, went into the dunk tank. At least, uh, at least it was only water that Patrick oh, was covered okay, with you this want me time. To, uh, so look on the bright side. You so know, I could have been worse. I have a story for everything. I'm old enough where I have a story for everything. Okay. I have That's a dunk what we tank love about story. You, Alex. I have a dunk tank story. Oh, okay. Oh, really? <laughs> so. Uh, I'm working at KILT in Houston, and the boss <laughs> says, "What's so funny?" Sorry, it was just... owned by Gordon McClendon, the old Scotchman, oh, and he had oh. killed. So uh, that was his station in Houston. Anyway, <laughs> KILT, KILT. I uh, thought you said something else. That's okay. where I was, James Bond, <laughs> with, with a license to kilt. Hmm? Anyway, <laughs> uh, they said, we need somebody to go over to the Astrodome on Wednesday and uh, uh, get in a dunk tank, get on a dunk tank. And uh, members of the Houston Astros will pitch balls at the target and try to dunk you. <laughs> and uh, I didn't raise my hand, and they said, Alex, you're going to go down and do it. So... Um, <laughs> I go down there and they show me the dunk tank and I go okay well that's going to be nothing they just you know they put you on this little stool and then uh, and it was a huge tank and then uh, the, there was the target and then the, the you know the, the seat will fall out from underneath you and you will gently float into the water <laughs> and they say to me oh we have one problem though we haven't had time to fill the tank oh no and I look at this stool, and I look at the bottom of the tank, and I'm going, if anybody hits that target, I'm going to break every bone in my body. Oh, my God. How could they have you do that? So uh, I get on there. They go, go on, Bennett. Get on there. You know? And I, get, get, I work my way over to the stool, but I'm hanging on to the edge of the, um, of the thing, and it's on a cantilever. And I've got my hand going through this, uh, this, these two slats to kind of hold on to the thing. Because if this thing's going, I'm not going with it. Or I will then be able to slowly ease myself down to the bottom of the tank. And I'm, and, and people are yelling at me, Alex, 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 Alex. I don't know what they're yelling at me. And these Astros are trying to hit the target. Well, thank God they fielded a terrible pitching uh, 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 staff. staff that year because none of them could hit the target. But if they oh, did, man. if they did, the stool would have given way. The back of the arm of the stool would have gone up and cut my arm off. Mm. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. And after and I got down, they just... said, you know how close you came to losing your arm? I said, and nobody stopped. Pitching? Hey, Just hey, think hey. of the publicity you would have gotten for that, Alex, though. <laughs> if I could have gotten that in addition to a bowl, it would have been terrific. Right. Yeah. You know. But uh, <laughs> anyway, I, I should, you know something? I, you know, I, it's, it's Yum Kipper, and I think I know who I can sit Shiva for now. The guy, only guy in America who I had a chance of getting a job from. <laughs> Except he's not Jewish. <laughs> huh? He's not yeah, he's Jewish. Not, he's Irish, I think, right? I think so, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, uh, yeah. well, so much for... Hey, no sp- I tried. Huh? I tried. Yeah. Well, there's a PD job available. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, why don't you go for it, Rob, and then hire me? 
Uh, Rob, is that product placement uh, to your side? Uh, the cup? Which cup? Uh, the, star uh, the, the red one. No, the, the red one. Oh, the red one. No, you know what? This is Chick-fil-A. Ah. Uh-oh. Okay. Wait a and, minute. Wait a minute. And, 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 and we all support that except Alex, I guess. And I, no, I, I haven't been to Chick-fil-A in four years, but yesterday I went. And I felt guilty, but I did it. I felt and, guilty. And did you get the waffle fries? No, let's see. What were they? They were they were the they, <laughs> yes. they didn't like gay. And the lemonade. They anti-gay. didn't like gay. Chicken. A- anti gay. Yeah. Yeah. Chicken. Yeah. But I Homophobic had people who said chicken. to me that they hated the fact they couldn't go to Chick fil A because they have a great chicken. They do have a good chicken. Yeah. yeah. You know you know you, 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 <laughs> the waffle fries are awesome. That's what I had the waffle fries. I love their waffle fries. Oh, oh, I love it. I love having Jim here. He doesn't have to say a word. <laughs> has all his little sound effects. Sound effect department. Yeah. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. So uh, uh, today I'm, I, I go down to Baskin Robbins to go get ice cream for girlfriend because she likes the mint chocolate chip. So I thought I would surprise her with the mint chocolate chip. And on the way back, oh. I'm very, I don't know what we're having for dinner because we, you know, we've eaten all our food for the week. Um, we have to hit Costco tomorrow. What I'll do? Maybe I'll go into Popeyes and I'll get some chicken there because oh, the, so the pop and girlfriend never complains about that. She she doesn't like franchises, but she has to admit that Popeyes chicken is damn good. Damn good, right? <laughs> it is. Uh, and um, so I I I look in the door, and I mean. They've got people almost out the door. I thought they—I thought they were actually selling uh, iPhone sixes. I mean, that's how how long the line was to get. And it's been that way every time I go down there now, around four o'clock, three o'clock in the afternoon. Just a line out the door for Popeyes. I mean, it's good, but is it that? Oh, I didn't want to. Wait I heard for it. Uh, that they were also selling medical marijuana uh, is that at it? The Popeyes. Oh, that would be perfect. <laughs> and they had a sale. Fortified that's, spinach. That's a perfect pairing right there. If I got a bolo, yeah. would I qualify for, for marijuana? For legal, you know, medicinal marijuana? My friend's a chiropractor. I could get you a prescription tonight. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll, in California, you can get it because you sneeze. Yeah. <laughs> well, I knew a guy who was a doctor who gave out these those recommendations out there. And he, he would do them at, uh, what, $200 a clip, $300 a clip? He made a fortune. I bet. Goddamn fortune. Uh, and he and he he was in Mendocino, so he was he was doing a land office business. Better than uh, Chick Fil A and uh, Popeyes. Yeah, yeah. Let me see here. Anything in the news? Any of you want to bring up? Uh, you know. Uh, Let me look here. The Republicans haven't been that contentious, think- and and if you go to Drudge, all there is is the latest oh. things to panic you. About yeah. uh, 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 about Ebola. Ebola. Well, ISIS did another beheading. Oh, oh, oh yeah. ISIS That's, did another yeah. beheading. But did, did you notice this beheading? Each with each successive beheading, they're getting less publicity. Like it yeah. wasn't until like the sixth story on the evening news. Who did they behead yeah. tonight? Uh, uh, who did beheaded they behead? Another Some eight, eight worker, and but the threatening text you to a former U.S. Ranger. That's what I'm seeing on Huff Post today. Yeah, I'm surprised if Phil reads Huffington Post. But, uh, uh, just occasionally, it uh, it comes through as a uh, pop up. Yeah, well, they, they, well they, 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 ISIS has new, new, new ISIS has new demands uh, to save this American. One of the demands oh. is the usual one that we get out of that part of the world and disappear and not to, and not fight them, mm-hmm. and and the other one is. Um, um, I had a joke here and I completely <laughs> forgot it. Oh. Uh, and the I, other one. Oh yeah, and the other and the other uh, the other demand is that we we call them ISIS. <laughs> yeah, nobody knows what you can call them anymore. The ISIL, the ISIS, Islamic Republic. Uh, what is it? Islamic. Uh, Islamic State. I- Islamic State. What do you call them? The SFL. I mean, now this this may be very poorly uh, received, but, you know, we don't like the fact that they cut the heads off of our newscasters 
and AIDS workers. What would happen if we well, took one of their the, bodies? They, they, they didn't cut the head off a newscaster, was it? Well, he was a he was, uh, he was, he was a journalist. He was, he was a journalist. journalist. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> well, uh, anyway, uh, what would happen? No, if journal, we journalists did report the news. That defiled news. their bodies, like uh, put uh, bacon or something uh, in, you know, in with their in with their bodies. That uh, would, you know. Oh, that that whole uh, Muslim uh, bacon thing is not. I mean, they're just they just it's they, just they like with Jews, they, they can't eat it. But uh, you know, if you throw a piece of bacon it. at them, yeah, they eat it. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's I mean, if you throw a piece of bacon, bacon at them, they're not going to go to hell. You know. Well, they're, they're not too happy about you know uh, pig things and bacon and dogs. Oh no, yeah. Well, neither are Jews, right? I mean, do you eat uh, bacon, Phil? Oh, you better believe it. <laughs> I just made myself like a ton of bacon oh, right. today. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I get this great thick bacon. Uh, it's uh, and it's not called the Canadian Costco? bacon. The Costco, th yeah, ex too. the expensive bacon, not the not the Kirkland bacon, but the other one. And it's like nice and thick and good and juicy. I, but bacon is one of the best things in the world. It you is. know, yeah. uh, the, anybody here yeah. not like bacon? See what I'm saying? Anime. I mean, I wait a minute. You raised I your like hand, it, but Jim, what did you raise your hand? Well, what did, I, I may have missed all the question. The question, the question was, is anybody here not like bacon? Oh, no, no. Bacon. Good. Mm. Bacon's good with anything. Yeah. Well, his bacon's a little different. Bacon. Though. Canadian bacon. Well, it's back bacon. Yeah. yeah. Now, what? Now uh, that brings up a question. When, when you, when Jim, when, when you think of bacon, do you think of the strips of bacon that we cook, or do you think of the, like the basically the Canadian bacon stuff that's on the egg McMuffins? When I say the word bacon, what comes to mind first? I think of strips of bacon, but it's big, honking big thick strips. Thick, thick strips, and that's yeah. essential. That's Canadian back bacon, kind of. It doesn't come around like it is on McDonald's straight from the pig, so we no. don't usually <laughs> see it. <laughs> oh. oh, really? I thought, I thought it came off the pig that way. Like, oh, I thought it came with a hollandaise sauce and, and, and a poached egg. Well, I'm, which, <laughs> reminds, which reminds me of a joke. Uh, a, a guy uh, was, uh, uh, was, uh, uh, there was uh, he saw a guy and he had his pig with him. And the pig was missing a leg. And he said, uh, uh, is that your pig? He says, yeah. He says, uh, why does he only have one leg? He says, let me tell you a story. He says, pig um, leg pig. huh? Pig leg pig, right? No. no Go just ahead. Pig missing a leg. And Go he ahead. said, that pig saved my life. I one day was down near a stream fishing and I was, uh, uh, all of a sudden, I fell into the water and was being swept away by the current. And this pig jumped in the water. And then I managed to grab him. And he managed to swim me to shore and save my life. And he said, well, how did he lose the leg? And he says, well, a good pig like that, you don't eat all at once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I got a little smile out of Patrick on that one. Yeah. yeah. Anybody See, else got some jokes? Better than Doug's joke. No, no. Let's not get, get into that. <laughs> you had some good ones the other night. What? Yeah. That, that that night you actually had some very good jokes. Well, actually, uh, I usually audience jokes are never any good, but the, those happen to be pretty good. But I think we were comparing them against. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the D word. Uh, yeah, we didn't uh, let him the say one who shall not joke. be named. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I don't want to hear your <laughs> joke. We, uh, don't you get the idea, Doug? We don't <laughs> By the way, recording doesn't count. I'm talking while you're telling your joke. Everybody talk at the same time so that he can't tell his joke. I don't want to hear your joke. You don't want to hear your joke, Doug. Doug, Doug we don't want to hear your joke. We don't, we don't, we don't want to hear your joke. I, all this show is for me over and over again saying we don't want to hear your joke, then so be it.
There we go. <laughs> Actually, I have a better version of it here. Oh, it's cleaner. Oh, okay. I don't want to hear your joke. We, don't you get the idea, Doug? We don't want to hear you. Nobody can hear you telling your joke now, right now, because I'm talking while you're telling your joke. Everybody talk at the same time so that he can't tell his joke. I don't want to hear your joke. We don't want to hear your joke, Doug. Doug, Doug, we don't want to hear your joke. We don't, we don't, we don't want to hear your joke. If all this show is for me over and over again saying we don't want to hear your joke, then so be it. Come on, Alex, let me hear Wait a minute. Hold on. Tell me a joke. Here comes a punch. The Great American Broadcast Network. Digital talk radio. Come join the conversation at gabnet.net. Matter of fact, Alex, did you see the pictures I took today I post on Facebook? No. I have, to, I have to put up with you for an hour and a half every night. Do you think I really want to go look at your goddamn Facebook page? <laughs> that's good that, stuff. Yeah, that's radio yeah. goals. Yeah. That, was, that was the last great moment ever on this radio program. <laughs> oh, no. And if that was there the greatness more. that is this radio program, I'm in a lot of trouble. <laughs> No, I keep trying to find stuff uh, political that 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 uh, Phil and I could get into, and and there really is not a lot. I mean, There's it's almost as on. though it it's almost as though the right and the left have given up the will to fight. Uh, Am I right? It's yeah. like you know, you I was like those show. emails. <laughs> what? What, Dan? Those uh, like I was saying with those emails from the Democrats the other day. It's like it's just so. They're, they're, they they've given up pretty much, and, and they're trying to get out the vote with like scare tactics. But you know, it's not uh, you know. What, I think when you want to win an election, you want to be optimistic. Yeah. Like uh, for example, and I'll, I'll hang this. I've been kind of following along with this Allison Lunderman Grimes versus Mitch McConnell thing a little bit. She came out with it like she had that one commercial where she's shooting a gun. Do you remember that? Yeah. She's shooting a gun and she's saying, I don't agree with Obama on everything. But now she came out with a real positive commercial, which is good. So maybe she might uh, pull it out. But there's a month before the election. Miss McConnell's going to do some dirty trick to to win the thing. Well, I'm Mitch afraid. McConnell will probably win that thing down there. <clears throat> oh, yeah, because you know. it's Kentucky. Did anybody watch John Stewart at all? And the impression he loves to do of Mitch McConnell. Uh, yep. Oh, yep. <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got Turtle. a gun here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was, what was it? Well, she, wasn't that the woman who had the ad that said uh, Mitch McConnell, you know, had that thing where he held his gun up, his rifle up? And, yeah. and, and in her ad, she says, Ooh. I've always liked guns. I was raised to use guns. And by the way, Mitch, you're not holding it right. Is that, yeah. the, is that the woman? Yeah. 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 She looks kind of hot when she's shooting a gun, though. I'll, I'll give her that. I don't know. Well, it's it, it, sexy have you ever it. gone to this site of uh, women in bikinis shooting uh, high, uh, you know, uh, yeah. uh, attack rifles? She's not wearing a bikini in the commercial, though, although that might get her some more votes if she did. Yeah. But no, but there's this <laughs> site where you can go where there are women in bikinis shooting high powered uh, machine guns and uh, yeah. artillery rifles sure. and. Huh? That's from uh, Jackie Brown, right? I remember that scene in Jackie Brown. Yeah, well, but there actually is a site like that. You can go to YouTube yeah. and see them. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I, I, there's something hot about that, sure. <coughs> sure. Um, especially if they have big breastuses and they're jiggling a lot. Yeah, they're jiggling while the rounds are shooting out of the gun yeah. so let me i want to find out something from patrick uh you know that's about as political as i guess we're going to get tonight but patrick did you get the wheel on your on your uh on your uh, uh wheelchair working or are you using it as a unicycle uh no i i took it in uh got it oiled up and uh actually found out that <laughs> wd-40 is not my friend it seemed to gum up more than other silicone-based uh, lubricants. So, um, and next week I take it in to get new brakes and new wheels anyway. So, really, yeah. Now, how long does a wheelchair last? Or are you still on your first one? Oh no, uh, I'm on my third one. Really? Um, yeah. I, I mean, 
I beat it to hell when I take it apart and drag it across the concrete. Um, you know, everything gets loose, that sort of thing. So I got to take it in periodically to have things tightened up. Uh, I've got my own um, uh, hex wrenches and that to do it myself, but it's a little well, bit better. Do, do they, you do they, do when you go down to get it fixed, do they give you a loner or do you just have to kind of crawl <laughs> on the floor? Um, I just, what I do, like, next week, um, the day that I take the chair in, I'm planning on getting my oil changed, and the tires rotated on the car, so I'll drop the wheelchair off, go get that done, and then by the time I'm done with that, they should be done with the wheelchair. What do they so do I with you? To, I try to run errands while I'm doing yeah. that. So you have an extra chair when you do that, or... You're yeah, sitting no. in the car while they're rotating the tires. Yeah, they, uh, the um, the place that I go to, they leave me on, jack me up. <laughs> well, there we so. go with another euphemism. Uh, yeah. <laughs> jack them up. Yeah. Little bonus. Yeah. Now, here's if we want to talk another political thing. This is not really political, but I guess yesterday Joe Biden. Uh, being uh, Joe Biden, and and he he says something like, "Oh, that's a bitch" or something. He was talking to some vice president of Harvard, I think. But every time Joe Biden makes a a, a goofy statement, it makes me like him better. Yeah, because Joe Biden is just like a regular. Uh, the the Obama's just too stiff and professorial. You can't make fun of. You can't have fun with him too much. But Joe, if Joe Biden were president, that'd be a hoot. Don't you think? Well, uh, you could do worse than Joe Biden. Oh, yeah. And he's real smart. Well, too. I just got a look from Patrick. Patrick? Double that look from me. <laughs> well, I mean, what is, what is particularly What's wrong, with, wrong Joe Biden? with Joe Biden? Yeah, he's a, he's little, a buffoon. No, so? Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, you guys and, and, didn't like, uh, you know, George Bush. But yeah, Joe but, Biden's but, got a big mouth. Uh, he, if, yeah, if, he if, if, if George Bush were a Joe buffoon, a at guy. least I could have had fun during that administration. Well, look, Joe, Joe Biden uh, has made so many gaffes. He is just yeah. uh, what not kind the right of person for the it's, job. It's just that you look at Drudge, and every time Biden crosses his eyes wrong, there's Johnny on the spot, Matt Drudge, to shove it down his throat. Here's one. Confusion. Biden overstates deaths in tornado by 160,000. So? That, those those so? things don't matter. What about when he was on a live mic and he whispers into uh, Obama's ear, uh, you know, this is good shit or some, you know, I don't like no, expletives. I don't but, like, no, he yeah. didn't like somebody and called him a piece of shit. Yeah. Is that what he did? Hey, I wish I wish he wasn't. I, he'd say it right on the mic for crying out loud. You know, I'm tired of all That's these people running for political your... audit, uh, uh, office. I'd love, to, I'd love to hear of Joe Biden's State of the Union. That would be, you know, that'd be fun viewing. I think. Listen, I got to tell you something about Joe Biden. This guy has been in Cong uh, in in the Senate for so long that he really knows his way around. He could be one hell yeah. of a president. He could get things done. Yeah. yeah, you wouldn't be happy with what he got done. Not yeah. at all. But yeah. you know, I mean, this is a and guy. That would make me to, all the happier if, if Phil was This is a guy who worked in Washington, lived uh, <laughs> in Maryland, about two hours away, and and did the round trip by train every day just so he could be home with his family. W isn't he the leader, or wasn't he the leader of the state that had Spiro Agnew as a governor? You know. Uh, uh, isn't it one of the crookedest states Wait a minute, in the are, are you blaming uh, him for Spiro, for Spiro? Agnew? Yeah, and, and following in his well, footsteps. <laughs> Boy. Uh, and, okay. and, and Patrick, you gave a, 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 a funny yeah. look when I said, Joe, Patrick, it's, the, it's not the worst you could do. Yes, yes, uh, Patrick. He's at a loss for words now, here. <laughs> isn't Maryland a state that doesn't have corporate taxes, and that's the reason DuPont is incorporated there and a bunch of no, other that, things? No, you're thinking of Delaware. Delaware. Oh, is it Delaware? Yeah. Oh, sorry about that. You're wrong again. Yeah, okay, no extra charge. They're next to each other. <laughs> no extra charge. <laughs> now, come on, Patrick. You're, you're kind of at a loss for words here when I say that about Joe Biden. Well, okay. I, 
I look at it this way. If we want to, if we want to compare Joe Biden, yeah, we could hear Sarah Palin. Okay. okay. Oh. The only thing is, Sarah Palin it's is hotter. Hot as oh. shit. So when you consider hotness and stupidity, and then stupidity and well, not really anything to look at. I would rather take the one that's better to look at than. Okay, let me. Let Joe me. Biden's not stupid though. Yeah. Uh, Joe Biden's a real smart guy. He married a doctor. Well, that's okay. good. Who did we lose I mean, here? I'm trying to remember who we lost here. We just lost somebody. Jim. Jim. Oh, we yeah. lost Jim. And Tony, of course, is you know. Tony. Uh, Tony is ranks. like is like ethereal. He, he just. Yeah, I didn't even see him leave. <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, uh, what I was going to say about uh, uh, Sarah Palin, Patrick, and, and, and I don't know if you recently saw the pictures of her coming out of her car in uh, Alaska without any makeup on yeah. and without being duted up. Yeah. Uh, oh, I thought and, you were going to say without and, any underwear. And, and she looked pretty chance. beastly in nature. Okay. Really? okay, you know what, though? Yeah. The way I look at it is... Yeah. There are some guys who bitch and complain about women who have stretch marks. Well, guess what? That's part of having children. So you just kind of forgive things and in their natural state. Not everybody's going to look their best all the time. Yeah, but you're That's talking funny. about her being you're, hot. And the fact is she is she, artificially hot. Nah, she, you're not. Uh, you're, all, pe all people... That are uh, that uh, and many people get uh, makeup and and done up for uh, photographs or for photo opportunities or when they're going to be on TV. Uh, if and if you don't, it shows a lot of things that you normally not really recognize in, in person. You know, because uh, she's had so know. many kids now, she has stretch marks on her knees. <laughs> <laughs> That's rug you, burn. You, 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 well, you know why you don't care. Patrick, is because you know damn well you don't have a chance with Sarah Palin. Hey. He's holding out hope. Uh, and by the way, I'm not putting you down because get, neither do I. Hold it. Let's okay. get a hold of her on Twitter and see if she'll come on the panel. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, that'd be that, great. That, that presupposes that I'll ever get on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. <laughs> He's... <laughs> She ain't worth getting on Twitter. Right. Yeah. She's not worth getting on Twitter. Yeah. But uh, what time is it? Oh, we're, ooh, ooh, yeah, it's, oh. it's about we're about done for. About that time. Here. Yeah, it's about that time. God, yeah. we we've talked about nothing substantial all night. Well, we <laughs> talked much. a little about Joe Biden. Yeah. And, and about and, uh, Ebola. And about uh, you know uh, uh, Sarah Palin's stretch marks. So that that was political. Yeah. That was and, political. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Diane. What? <laughs> Say in rim jobs, don't forget that. Oh well, that that was my mentioned. Yeah. yeah, and and speaking of rim jobs, uh, I, I imagine your rims on your uh, your um, uh, wheelchair are some, just fine. Yeah. Isn't that something? It, until it becomes it, 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 in fact, every now and then you have to have a rim job, don't you? Well, they're they're gonna have to. Yeah, they're gonna have to do it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks to Patrick, thanks to Phil, done. thanks to Dan, thanks to Diane, thanks to Mark Thorner, uh, who, who's always lying on the side of, is, you're on your bed, right, is where you watch this? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's a comfortable way to watch it. Yeah, Rob, really nice. always great to see yeah. you there, and uh, we love the work you're doing. You do a great show, and these people better call you for game yeah. night, because... Um, maybe they're just intimidated. They think they're too stupid for it or something. Uh, could be. Could be. Maybe they are. Anyway, you know. good night to all of you. Thank so, you. Yeah. And we'll see you all on Monday. Bye-bye. Have good a good night. weekend. And good night to all of you who are listening to us over Gabnet. Uh, uh, guess what? He's next. Yes, Revelstoke Jim and his Canadian content over most of this same Gabnet network. In the meantime, as always... I'll see you on Monday, and if you see her, tell her I love her.